Hi, for this video what I want to do is just discuss some types of symmetry with you. Um, symmetry with respect to the x-axis appears like this. Um, this one would happen would not be a function because of the fact that you have repeating x-coordinates. You can still have a graph that looks like this though. Um, it's just not a function. Um, Anytime that a graph has symmetry with respect to the x-axis, the sign of the y-coordinates change. So if I look at these two points right here, the x-coordinates um, are the same, but my y-coordinates have changed signs. So that's how you tell if you have symmetry with respect to the x-axis. The x-coordinates are the same, but the y-coordinates are opposite signs. With respect to the y-axis, this one is considered a function because of the fact that there are no repeating x values. Um, for this one, the sign of your x-coordinate is what changes. So your y-coordinate stays the same, but your x-coordinates change signs. So um, if you're looking for symmetry with respect to the y-axis, you are looking to see are the signs of my x-coordinates opposite. For the last one, um, we have symmetry with respect to the origin, and for this one, if you look at all of our points, the x coordinates are this. Um, both of the x both the x coordinate and the y coordinates change signs. So over here we are at two two, and then when we come down here we're at negative two negative two. So to determine if there has um, symmetry with respect to the origin, the signs of both x and y change. It is possible for a graph to have symmetry, um, but not be with respect to one of the axes or to the origin. Um, but that is not a special type of symmetry that we test for. If you are testing for this algebraically, which I will show in some other videos, um, you, in order to see if it has symmetry with respect to the x-axis, you would replace y with negative y, and you would change um, and then you would see if you can get back to the original equation. If the equation is the same, then you have symmetry with respect to the x-axis if you change the y-coordinate. Same thing for y-axis, you would change the sign of the x-coordinate to see if it's the same. And then for the origin, you would change the signs of both to see if it yields the same equation.